So hi everybody and welcome to the Unreal Engine 5 tutorial series. Right now I use Unreal Engine 5 preview because Unreal Engine 5 is not released. So let's get started. First of all, we start at the point where we press our launcher. In my case, Unreal Engine 5 preview, you would press just Unreal Engine 5. And I double click on it and now you will see our Unreal Editor, like it says here, is popping up. The next thing is, uh, we have our uh, browser. This is the first time when you go in, uh, you have to choose here something. So on the left side, you can see we have a recent project and these projects are, which I made, um, which I made already. And here, the left one, this is the only Unreal Engine 5 project. All other you can see are not Unreal Engine 5 compatible, actually. Then on the second uh, uh, on the second column here, <clears throat> uh, I mean on row, um, you can see games. And this is the place where we will go uh, soon. But first, let's check what we have here. We have here film, video editing, if you are interested in making film something. Architecture, if you want to make architecture and automotive and so on. These are right now not important. So we uh, we are interested only in two folders here. The first one, recent project, uh, because later we want, when we create a folder, or let's say uh, we create a project and then save it and then we will find it here. And in games, right now we want create a project, right? So what options we have? The first option, we have a blank project, which means there is just a sky and a floor and no, uh, nothing more. Then we have a, a first person uh, project, which means you can see here, right? You see here the camera, the hand, and then you have the screen in front of you and then you can walk. And then we have third person. This one is the character you can move around and you can see your character it's a perspective uh, uh, for RPGs for example and then we have here the top down again here's your character which is moving and you are watching from top down and then we have also here uh, handheld augmented reality if you want uh, doing something like that virtual reality or here is very uh, this could be interesting too a vehicle uh, uh, template you can see it's a car actually but more a skeleton of a car with uh, wheels <laughs> yeah that's it but it's working right you have your road you can drive this start this and then test it out like you want so we are interested in most time uh, the common things at least what i am using is a blank project because i won't start from scratch or sometimes third person project because it's very convenient or first person because uh, uh fps uh, fps game or are they called so yeah the shooter games right <laughs> they are most time made with this template in my case i use the third person template so let's go on after we selected our template which we want to use we have to choose here some settings we can see here blueprint or c plus plus Blueprint is the node system in Unreal Engine, which is, which is absolute comfortable, uh, comfortable for beginners because uh, you can learn easy to program compared to C++ and it is not so difficult, I think. Uh, later, I will show you why, but not in this video, uh, when we are going to blueprints and so on, then I will talk a little bit more about this. So we choose blueprint. Of course, if you have C++ knowledge, um, then I would still not choose C++, at least not so fast, because I would uh, go for a tutorial here before. And why I'm saying that is because Unreal Engine has a macro system, which means a communication system from Unreal Engine to C++ programming. For example, you are using Visual Studio uh, code or anything like that. There is a macro system which uh, communicates between this IDE, which means this programming um, uh, system 
with Unreal Engine and there is a macro and uh, there are some special yeah some special commands which you should learn first before you start with C++ or this one can be a little bit uh, yeah bad you need to learn this first so if you want to go for C++ I recommend that you are going learning a little bit C++ uh, uh, watching a C++ tutorial uh, because then you are learning these macros and if you got this this is just an additional step to C++ then you you are able to use that that said we are don't care about that <laughs> because we are going to use blueprint but here are one interesting note even if you are going to use blueprint you can I think still use C++ interesting not sure the other way I know if you are using C++ you still can use blueprints because they are doing many things from C++ to Blueprints, but I think you can use Blueprint and then C++ stuff too. I'm not sure. Anyway, we go on. We choose Blueprints now. It said the target platform. Of course, uh, this is very important because we have to choose between desktop at the start or mobile. Why is this important? Because desktop has um, more possibilities, mobile on the other side not. There are different systems, uh, for example, in mobile you can't use all the absolute big features what you can use on desktop. So these are two different worlds. You have to choose here very wisely uh, in which direction you want to go. At the start for this tutorial series we are going for desktop so we can use all. For example, if you are going for mobile you have restrictions and uh, uh, which means uh, we can't use really all things in my case i have a very bad computer i would rather go to mobile with the restriction because i can't use anyway not all features of unreal engine 5 because it depends also on your computer system but this is not the uh, topic right now but that said we still go for desktop if you have a good computer very nice quality preset normally you would go for maximum this is the desktop setting and if you are going for mobile for example you would rather go to scalable which means like i said there are restrictions and then we have to apply that so the next thing starter content this is very helpful for beginners like we uh, uh, which means we get starter assets for uh, free to use at the start point we need that i think because instead of importing assets from other places we can use just the assets which are provided for example we will have the static mesh uh, doesn't matter if you don't know the names what i'm talking about then we have materials textures uh, and i think animations and so on okay we choose that one right uh, ray tracing we don't choose but of course you can choose that too uh, if your uh, graphic card is supporting that and you want test ray tracing that said we go down here and here it says pro uh, project location i keep this project location which is here because this is the default location so if anyone is asking uh, well uh, if you are looking where your project is safe then you will can just check the default location but of course you can change this to a special location for example you have a special hard drive for that and then you put all uh, your project files in a special hard drive it would make sense too in my case i still keep this here because it's not a real project what i'm going to do it's more like a youtube presentation here so and then we choose a project name of course we should choose a very good project name in my case let's say um uh, demonstration <laughs> demonstration uh youtube yeah, yeah um, right like so because in my case i make just a demonstration right so and then i click on create let's do it so and I think I stop here for this video number one because in the next video we have to talk all about the stuff what's coming now and there's a lot of to things to talk I think and yeah I think that's a good idea but let me show you fast what we have at the start so you can see this is the start point 
when we selected the third person uh, template. Here I stop. In the next video, I will continue to go here a little bit through. And actually, I'm new too, right? I'm not used to use um, Unreal Engine 5. That's why it's even better to see if this works. So, bye.